Imagine you're exploring the exciting world of DeFi, decentralized finance, on the TON blockchain. You've found a promising project with a cool smart contract, but how do you interact with it? That's where your trusty Tunkeeper wallet comes in. But hold on, how do you add that fancy contract address to Tunkeeper? Fear not, crypto adventurers. This video will be your compass, guiding you through the simple steps of adding a contract address to your Tunkeeper wallet. By the end, you'll be a contract adding pro, ready to explore the vast DeFi landscape of TUN. Before we dive in, let's take a quick detour. Smart contracts are like tiny programmable computers living on the blockchain. They automate agreements and transactions, making DeFi tick. To interact with these contracts, you need their unique address, kind of like a digital mailbox. Now, Tunkeeper is your awesome non-custodial wallet for the TON blockchain. It lets you manage your TON coins, tokens, and, you guessed it, interact with smart contracts. But to do that, you need to tell Tunkeeper which specific contracts you're interested in. That's where adding the contract address comes in. All right, enough talk. Let's get adding. Step one, open your Tunkeeper wallet. This might seem obvious, but hey, gotta start somewhere. Launch your Tunkeeper app, whether it's on your phone or desktop. Make sure you're logged in and ready to roll. Step two, find the contract address. Here's where things might differ depending on the project you're exploring. Don't worry, it's usually pretty straightforward. The contract address should be readily available on the project's website, documentation, or even their social media channels. Look for something like a long string of letters and numbers, often starting with EQC. Tip, be super careful when copying the address. Double check it to ensure you're not accidentally adding a random contract. A typo here could lead your precious crypto astray. Step three, navigate to add asset. Now comes the magic. Within your Tonkeeper wallet interface, find the option to add a new asset. This might be a dedicated button labeled add asset or hidden within a settings menu. Don't worry, explore a bit, you'll find it. Step four, paste the contract address. Here's where you put that carefully copied contract address to good use. Look for the field where you can enter the address. Paste it in, making sure everything is nice and accurate. Step five, identify the token optional. This step depends on the specific project you're dealing with. Sometimes, the contract might represent a native token of the project itself. In that case, Tunkeeper might automatically identify the token and display its logo and name. Cool, right? However, some contracts might manage multiple tokens or Tunkeeper might not recognize the token right away. If that's the case, don't panic. You can usually choose from a list of available tokens associated with the contract address or even manually enter the token details if needed. Step six, add the asset. Once you've pasted the address and, if necessary, identified the token, it's time to finalize things. Look for a button like add asset or confirm. Click it and voila. The contract and its associated token, if any, will now be visible in your Tunkeeper wallet. Congratulations! You've successfully added a contract address to your Tunkeeper wallet. Now you can interact with that smart contract, potentially swap tokens, or explore the functionalities it offers. Remember, always do your own research before interacting with any smart contract, especially new projects. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy Defy exploring on TUN.